Welcome to The Hub. I'm Wang Guan in Beijing. First of all, happy Chinese New Year wherever you are. On behalf of our team and from the bottom of my heart, I want to wish you and your loved ones a safe, happy, prosperous year of the tiger. Now, as many of you know, tiger is a very special animal in the Chinese zodiac. Uh, the Chinese New Year is also known as the Spring Festival or Chunjie. It is the first day of the first month in the lunar calendar, also known as the traditional Chinese calendar or Nongli. It is a time for rejuvenation as we bid farewell to winter and welcome the beginning of spring. 2022, as we said, is the year of the tiger, one of the 12 animals in the Chinese zodiac or Sheng Xiao. What's special about the tiger? I recently visited the National Museum of China and caught up with someone who knows all about it. The tiger is a very unique animal in the Chinese zodiac. Its power, its ferocity, and its beauty strike most Chinese as both awe-inspiring and charming. Now, as we're celebrating the year of the tiger, we thought what better way to do it than to come to the National Museum of China and check out some cool tiger-inspired artifacts such as this one. They're so delicate, they're so beautiful. I can't wait to check them out. Just follow me. I don't know if you've been counting, but I've passed through five different doors. What is the meaning of this design? Hold that thought, and I'll tell you later. Now, I'm told that these are true masterpieces of this exhibition. Now, this vessel looks like a teapot to me, but what is it really? This tiger broken in half? What are they used for? I don't have all the answers, but I know someone who does. Joining me today is the curator of the exhibition, Madame Gao Xiuqing. She will reveal the stories of these artifacts dating back thousands of years and tell us why the tiger is such a unique presence in the Chinese culture. This is a a 应该说是握罐之旅的时候的一种贴片打仗的时候掉发军队，啊，中央和统帅各持一半，符合才能掉发。你可以看到离近离近了以后，它里边有一种榫卯结构，完全对应，它有阴阳对称的，或者里边它是完全扣上。Now I'm at the fifth and the last gate of this exhibition hall. In the Chinese culture, we say 五福临门 or five blessings arrive at the door. With the five blessings being virtue, health, wealth, longevity, and a peaceful ending. From the National Museum of China, we want to wish you and your loved ones a very happy new year of the tiger. Now, Bai Nian, or sending New Year's greetings, is part and parcel of the Lunar New Year rituals. Now, back in the day, I personally would drop in on my neighbors and my friends, of course, with my parents. Uh, that's one of my best childhood memories back in Jinan, Shandong, many, many years ago. But now, due to COVID and with all the fancy apps, most people use their smartphones to greet one another. Now, I thought it would be interesting to check out how some of our expat friends living in China are doing for the Chinese New Year. Let's give them a call. Now, my first call will go to the family of David Bartosh. He is a professor from Beijing Normal University, Zhuhai Campus. Uh, we're also joined by his beautiful wife, Peng Bei, and their lovely son, Bo Han. 
who's nine years old. Hello there. Can you pass? Hi. Chinese New Year. Hi. How are you? <laughs> wow, Very that's nice. That's a beautiful. That's a beautiful. Fu. Hi, Bohan. How are you? Mm, I'm fine. Okay, David and Bay, great to have you with us. How are you guys celebrating the Lunar New Year? Oh, we, we are very fine. We are at the moment uh, on the island of Hainan. So we, we stay on Hainan and wow. we have uh, done so actually also over the past few years. So this is kind of a, a regular moment now has become a, a kind of a regular act <laughs> to, to come to Hainan and to celebrate here with uh, family. So also other family members uh, from all over China, uh, come here, we meet here, and we use this this time, the holiday season, uh, also to meet with relatives that otherwise we would not have the chance to see because they are living in other places and very remotely uh, from where we live at the moment. So, so, so that's always a great opportunity. So are you guys going to stay through the holiday in Hainan or come back? Yes, yes, yes. We're staying through the holiday and enjoying the, the weather. And, um, and luckily, as you say, um, this year, due to due to the COVID uh, problem, uh, the pandemics, of course, uh, it's not as usual. So some of our fr uh, friends and relatives, they cannot be here. So actually, yes, we also uh, communicate uh, by WeChat, and and uh, but we 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 are not out of sight, so to speak, of each other, and also we we uh, we are in touch. Uh, also uh, send presents to each other and so so we we try to um, celebrate this yeah. uh, as usual and I think yes it's a it's a good uh, thing that we have this technology that we can communicate you know you know um, Bei, uh, you're a Chinese uh, your husband is German um, what does the Chinese New Year mean to you and your family啊,對我們來說啊,中國的年也是我們家一個非常非常重要的節日,那麼啊,我們雖然是一個國際的家庭,但是啊,在春節的時候我們還是會向所有的中國家庭向來過春節。那那個吃飯啊,這個中國人很
Okay. Happy New Year to uh, him too. And um, uh, yeah, the, the tiger, I think, is also symbol for bravery. And uh, I think the year uh, uh, 2022 is an important year for humanity. So we have to um, find a new way to connect much better to each other on a worldwide scale. And um, we have to find a common identity, I think. And uh, we have to be yeah. uh, strong and brave all together, all over the world. And I think the Chinese, um, the, the tiger, the symbol is, um, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a good symbol for us to, to remember that we, that right. we have to be strong. And um, I think uh, we, 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 can, um, we can create a better time. We can create a better time. And I think this year is very important. So um, for us personally, I think it will be a very good year. And I hope that for the, for the world, uh, that we, uh, although there are these um, many problems, that we can be um, strong and optimistic because we need that to to create a better future for us all. So, Bay, uh, finally, what's your New Year's resolution for the Year of the Tiger? Ah, I hope. Uh, most important thing is that in the New Year, all the family members are healthy and happy. And I hope that. 新的一年里头，全世界能够战胜新冠，能够回归正常的生活。那也希望所有的小朋友们啊，好好学习，天天向上啊！也希望这个我们的父母们，当然身体健康，还有太多太多的祝福。那我想，这个虎年一定是一个啊非常好的一年，对吧？ Let's hope. Let's hope. Thank you so much for joining us, Bohan. Uh, thank you for holding that fu. You know what that is? Fortune. This All right, all right. Uh, thank you for joining us on such short notice. Uh, we know that it's a very short notice, but thank you very much for coming on our show. Um, we wish you um, all the best in Zhuhai, in Hainan. Thank you. Thank you. And happy thank you. Again. Thank you very much. My second call will go to Kate and Reggie. They are fitness coaches here in China. Kate is from Russia and Reggie is from the station. Hello guys. Hi Kate. Hi Reggie. Hi. Hello, hello. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy Lunar New Year. Thank you so much for joining us on the hub. Great to have you. Um, how do you guys celebrate the Chinese New Year? And what about this year? We can see like it's, it's an evolution from the first time we came all the way until today uh, and this year we we were trying to celebrate a little bit like uh, uh, Chinese people celebrate we trying to do our own jiaozi well we cannot do the dough but we did our own feelings and uh, yeah we just were trying to get in the mood also <laughs> yeah different last year was the same for the first time we tried making um, dumplings jiaozi it was last year like with the traditional Chinese thing, one of our um, friends, Chinese girls, she invited us for you know all this making jiaozi and calligraphy. Yeah, so that was one of the great experience. So I wish maybe you know one time we can try it again. Uh, but this year we did have an opportunity to go and gather with our friends, but we did it by ourselves. So we prepare our own um, filling and yeah, and we, we just purchased the you know jiaozi the 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 dough thing for to make the jiaozi, and it was really cool. There's also jiaozi jiao in, in Russia, right, Kate? Yep. What is yeah. it called in Russian? Pilmeni. Say again? <laughs> Pilmeni. 
Ah, you, you know, actually, Pelmeni, this, Pelmeni. Uh, so I had tons of those in Washington right. when I was a correspondent there. In the U.S., the, uh, ah. the Americans love the Russian dumplings. Oh. How would you but compare you, the Russian you know, dumplings okay. against the Chinese ones? Um, in, in their, like, just to make it clear that there are two, two different types, like the shapes, because the Pelmeni, the one that I use, the dumplings itself, it's like round one. But then there is one that looks like Chinese one, kind of long, oh. you know, the same shape that you make Dalzi here um, and it's like different different filling and, and kind of different dough I think yeah but for the for the national normal Dalzi for, for pilmeshki, <laughs> pilmeni dumplings um, we use different dough uh, it's a bit thicker I cannot really um, explain the, the first of all the filling when we when we make it we just use minced pork minced beef we add um, onion, pepper, salt, garlic, a little bit of cold water, and that's it. But in China, we saw the process of making and preparing the yeah. uh, filling last year for the Chinese New Year, and it just took so complicated. It's <laughs> so long. It tastes amazing, but it's a lot of preparation for you know yeah. for the traditional Chinese. I saw filling. your photos so on Instagram. I was part. still. I'm still upset. I was not invited. <laughs> Next time. <laughs> so Reggie, what does the Chinese New Year mean to you and Kate? Um, for us, uh, the more we spend time here, the more it becomes something we look forward to, right? Uh, because we're making more friends and they also explain and tell us how the Chinese New Year was before, which unfortunately nowadays is not really the same among our friends telling us. But it's something very, very important for us. We look forward for it every year. So, yeah. And then, uh, what kind of an animal do you think the tiger is? Because we're talking about the year of the tiger. Um, okay. To, in, in Russian culture, what does tiger, the tiger, signify? Oh my God! It's the you know it's the biggest cat animal on planet Earth. So it's very independent, um, fearless. You know, always gets what he wants. Yeah, definitely. Brave is one. Brave. Yeah, yeah, very brave. And competitive, maybe. Yeah. And Reggie, what do you think the year the tiger will mean? I mean, what will signify? What do you hope it will bring? Well, I hope it, it can make me become more confident, more brave, and try to and try to accomplish the things that um, I said I would do this year. So I'm looking forward for it. Yeah, for full disclosure, guys, uh, Kate and Reggie met and fell in love in China, uh, you know. So I'm always curious, oh, who's the tiger in the family? <laughs> <laughs> I think Kate is I'm not going to comment on this. Kate is uh, the, the lion. Um, yeah, you guys uh, help so many Chinese train, improve their fitness, you know, uh, their overall well-being. Um, What's your New Year resolution for the, the, the coming year? Oh my God, there is, uh, there is so many. Just get better. That's my only... Uh, we don't really, me as a person, I'm talking about myself, I don't really make a lot of New Year resolutions. I think you just have a little goal and just put it um, in action right away. So for me, it's just get better every year in what I'm doing um, in fitness. So I have some... Uh, you know, more fitness knowledge coming. I want to get better in what I'm doing. I want to help more people. I want to get more independent. Um, yeah, I want to I want to do what I can to expand myself in fitness industry. And like broadly saying. Reggie? Well, I can say it's along the same line. I, when it comes to fitness and just improve myself so I can give a better service to everybody that works in our gym. And uh, so that's it. That's it. in terms of my fitness uh, resolution. That's it. Just to improve myself so I can improve others. You know, you guys are here for a very special time because back uh, decades ago, not that many Chinese work out, right? Uh, let's face it. But you guys have been in China yeah. for over a decade. Um, how, how do you see the, the rise of fitness, uh, the popularity of fitness among the Chinese, especially the, the younger generation here? It's crazy to just think that we've been here for a decade. <laughs> I think uh, yeah. it's definitely growing, and there's still a lot of improvement that needs to be done. Uh, and improvement starting from the like from school, 
all the way to adults, right? So, but I think uh, the youth here in China is more is more active, I can say, right? Uh, but without uh, saying that, also back from what our experience here, something which is fascinating is the the old people in the park. Oh my God! Yes. This is something which is. Yeah. yeah, I think, um, like like you were saying, we were here for over a decade, um, and fitness industry, like especially HIIT training and bodybuilding and all of those, is growing and improving and getting better and better. Right now, it's the peak, I think, of everything getting super popular, but the older generation is just like, they're my heroes. To go in the park, to go on, you know, all this Guangchang, Guangchang. all this dancing, um, <laughs> yeah, all, all this equipment that is installed everywhere. Um, and you can actually see old people doing things, elderly people. Um, I don't think you'll see that back home, like a 60, 70 years old grandma will, you know, jump around, do the splits and, and <laughs> exercise yeah, yeah. in the middle of the street. That's so Those cool. grandmas That's... and grandpas from whom you picked up your Chinese, right, Kate? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Kate and Reggie, thank you, very thank much. you for joining us. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your thank holidays. Thank you for having us. Okay, bye. <laughs> Bye. Dancing together. Sharing laughter. Compartimos ilusiones. Mientras atestiguamos el inicio de 2022. Wow. Qué <laughs> We wish you peace and prosperity. Mucha salud y prosperidad en el año nuevo. Que todos los mejores deseos de bonheur, de salud y de éxito nos acompañen en 2022. Aido Rabia en Saïd, y todo el año y todo el día. Nuevo Godo, nuevo Chastia. Si yo me lo arriba, si yo me lo arriba. And finally, I have the privilege to interview my youngest guest in the hub so far, Sweet Jojo and her dad, Wang Long, who's also a TV anchor. Jojo is a successful Chinese TikTok influencer, loved by all, and her videos have received over 100 million likes. Hello. Hello, mister. Hey, how are you? I'm good. Thank you. I'm very good. Thank you for asking. Hey, tell me, are you a girl or a boy? I'm a girl. You're a girl. What's your name, little girl? My name is Georgia. Hey, Georgia, how old are you? I'm three. You're three? Nearly four. Nearly four. Georgia, where do you come from? I'm from China. Oh, Hello, Wang Long. Hello, Jojo. Happy Lunar New Year. How are you guys? Yes, hello, everybody. Hello, I am Romil Bronchard, and this is my daughter, Xiao Jojo. Can you say hello, Georgia? Hello. Hello, everybody. Okay, first of all, tell us, uh, what does the Chinese New Year mean to you and your family? To put it simply, Chinese New Year is the moment for us to get together as a family, um, to spend time together, to make food together, prepare food, uh, play games, and basically a moment where time stops and the most important is our loved ones. How will your family celebrate the Year of the Tiger? So the Year of the Tiger, how are we going to celebrate it? Well, first of all, I told Georgia that we were going to make some dumplings together. Right? Right? And, uh, and then I'm going to take some days off from work and uh, basically uh, spend time with her and play games and, and enjoy the moments together. Because of the pandemic, uh, we will uh, restrict our uh, movements in China. We're going to stay in Beijing. It's the safest thing to do. 
uh, especially that Beijing is probably the safest right now, uh, which we are very fortunate uh, to, to live in this city. And uh, for Chinese New Year, we're probably just going to stay at home, uh, have fun together, learn new things, learn to cook, as I said just now, learn to cook some dumplings, go to the park, go play some ball. I mean, some family stuff, things that are the most important in life. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. And also, we'll probably uh, have some video calls with our family uh, in other cities such as Chengdu, in Jiangxi, as well as my family in Belgium. So it's, uh, it's uh, another great opportunity to uh, connect with our, our distant uh, family members. Now, what's the best memories in the year of the Ox? Best memory of the year of Ox probably was when we went together to Sanya uh, in June. I was fortunate enough to uh, have a few weeks off, and we had a wonderful time in Sanya. Mm. And uh, that was a great moment to, uh, to have some rest, enjoy the sun, enjoy the beach. And uh, yeah, we didn't, I know China has wonderful beaches, wonderful places to spend the holidays. Um, and hopefully this year, maybe we can go to Yunnan. Oh, I'm sure Yunnan. Hi, Jojo, you're uh, I'm also your fan. Today,今年你打算和爸爸妈妈怎么过年呢? So Wang Long, your daughter apparently is destined for stardom here in China, not least on TikTok. How do you feel about all that? So about her popularity on uh, social media, uh, we've been uh, posting videos for already two years. It's been a crazy adventure. Uh, we never thought it would uh, blow up like it did. Um, and I think it's mostly due to the pandemic. So um, people were lonely at home, depressed, and uh, they couldn't find any joy in their lives. And her daily videos, at the time we were posting three videos a day. Can you believe it or not? Um, and um, yeah, people were happy to see this little girl who was uh, full of life, very happy and uh, who could speak English, French, and Chinese, and show that uh, we live in a very uh, international world, and that, uh, I mean, she's a mix of both cultures, of Belgium and China, and that, I don't know, I think uh, people were very happy to see a little girl like that. Before we all celebrate the Chinese New Year in this difficult time of COVID, let's also spare a thought for those who will spend the Lunar New Year holidays far from their loved ones. Thank you, Xinkula, cheer up, and Jiayou. Wherever you are, we wish you and your family a very happy Chinese New Year. I'm Wang Guan in Beijing. Thank you for watching. Wu Shenwei. 龙腾虎跃，祝大家新的一年生龙活虎，虎年大吉！过年好，春节快乐。嗯，wish you all the best. Uh, what do you say that? 年年有余。新年快乐。Uh, we're happy to go to five five. So I'd like to wish everybody a very successful, healthy, prosperous. Year of the Tiger, and right now Georgia is gonna sing a song for us. Okay, Georgia. Sing ye hao ya, sing ye hao ya, chu he da jia, sing ye hao. We sing.